Dear students, welcome to our session today for course English 101, New Language Leader Level 1, First Secondary, First Semester, Unit 6, Lesson Number 1, Future Opportunity. First, let's look at our objectives for today. By the end of the lesson today, students will have read an advert for information, practiced word formation of vocabs related to business, especially nouns and verbs, and finally, learned and practiced the use of will, may, and might for predictions. Before we start our first objective, let's look at these statements. Are these statements true or false about your country? Let's read the statements. Then we'll give you two minutes to discuss these statements. Number one, people retire at a younger age than 30 years ago. Number two, more people go on holiday abroad than 20 years ago. Number three, nowadays many people are using robots in their homes. Number four, most people spend more time on the internet than with real people. Think about these statements and express your opinions in the chat box. OK, now we are going to read the advert about an organization. Are you planning for the future? Do you know what is coming next? The world and your markets are constantly changing. Will the elderly be the big spenders of the future? When will middle age begin? When will people retire? What will tomorrow's teenagers want to buy? Our futurologists can help you profit from the future. We provide information about the future trends in society, 
prediction about future consumer needs, analysis of your company and its future plans, advice for business investors, call us now and improve your future opportunities. Now, you've got three minutes to study the advert again. Read it carefully. Try to take notes about it. Okay, dear students, now let's look at our first activity about the reading of the advert. Find words that mean. Number one, someone who studies the future. Number two, fashions or changes over time. Number three, someone who put money into business. And number four, a chance to do something or a possibility to do something. You've got three minutes to think about these words.
Okay, dear students, before we check the answers, let's say thank you to these excellent students. Muhammad Isa Muhammad, Taha Fadl Jabbar, Abdullah Muhammad Shams, Ali Abdul Nabi Makki, Sayyid Mustafa Musa, Abdul Rahman Muhammad, Muhammad Ibrahim Musa, Nuruddin Muhammad, Sufyan Mansour, Turki Abdullah Yusuf and Mahmoud Adil. Thank you very much. Now, number one, futurologist. Number two, trends. Number three, investor. And number four, opportunity. Now, find these words in the advert. We already read the advert. Are they verbs or nouns? You've got three minutes to think about these words and put them under the correct category. Nouns or verbs?
OK, dear students, let's check your answers. Consumer, noun, information, noun, production, noun, investor, a noun, improve is a verb, analysis, a noun, needs, a noun, advice, a noun, retire, a verb, profit, a verb, or a noun. Now, try to complete the table with the missing word. Either is it a noun or a verb? You've got five minutes to do this exercise. You can use your dictionary.
OK, dear students, now let's check the answers. Consume, inform, predict, invest, improvement, analyze, need, advise, retirement, profit. Now, complete the description of the organization with a noun or a verb from the previous table. You've got four to five minutes to complete this exercise.
OK, dear students, now let's see the answers. Our organization predicts future trends and advises business people so that they can invest well and improve their chances to make a good profit. We analyze key data and information about society. For example, the age of retirement and consumer behavior, and it also considers what people are likely to need. Now, we look at our objective of grammar about the use of will, might, and may for predictions. We use will, might, and may to make predictions of the future and the certainty or possibility of the predictions. Example, look at the sky. I think it will rain soon. She is not well. She won't attend the festival. The use of will or won't makes the prediction more certain. Example two, I don't know. She may come to the party. May makes the possibility less certain. You're not sure about this. Example three, I'm not sure there might be a meeting tomorrow. Might also used to make it less certain. And you're not sure. The only difference or the main difference between them is might used more in formal situations. Now, we can use adverbs like definitely or probably in predictions. Example, she will probably never see him again. Example two, I will definitely meet you at the airport. Note, will, won't, might, and may are models, and they are followed by their infinitive. Now look at our first activity. Match the halves of the sentences together to complete the full sentence. You've got three minutes to do this exercise.
OK, dear students, now let's check your answers. Number one. If people live longer, they might get more diseases when they are older. Number two, we might see the late film tonight if the children go to bed early. Number three, if more students go to university, they might not all find good jobs when they leave. Number four, if parents don't earn much money, they won't be able to afford child care. Next activity. Correct the mistakes in these sentences. According to the rules you've studied about the use of will, might, and may. You've got three minutes to think about these sentences. OK, dear students. Let's check the answers. Number one. I think people might live longer in the future. Number two. I think Sarah will get a good job in a big company. Number three. I will definitely live in my hometown. And number four, I'm 100% sure our team will win the cup. Now, look at these sentences. Rewrite the sentences below without changing the meaning. Use the words and phrases in the box. You've got five minutes to write the sentences for this exercise.
OK, dear students, now let's check your answers. Number one. I'm almost sure that we'll get our news only from the Internet. The sentence should be. We'll probably get our news from only the Internet. Or only from the Internet. Number two. I'm not sure if couples will divorce more. Couples might divorce more. Number three. I don't think humans will go back to the moon. Humans probably won't go back to the moon. Number four. I'm 100% certain we won't have more leisure time. We won't have more leisure time. Now, look at this final task. Write five sentences about your predictions for your society in the country. Dear students, you can have a look at some possible answers. Look at these sentences. Read them. Or screenshot. This slide because we've come to the end of our session today. Thank you very much for your attention. And we'll see you next time. Don't forget to do the form and the questionnaire about this session. Thank you very much and goodbye.